Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at Team Sport, but you'll notice we're in blue carts. That's right, we're at the recently reopened Team Sport in Preston to see what these new electric carts are all about. If you are unaware, Team Sport Preston has been closed for a couple of years after a big fire tore down the entire warehouse and left just the metal frame standing. It opened again in May, and so Dan and I planned a trip and visited to see what we could do. This is a busy public session and it's also on a Saturday afternoon, so I'm not expecting great things, but with Dan having gone faster than me in the first session, I knew what I needed to do. These carts are 100% electric and they have on their steering wheel a blue boost button. The boost button gives you extra power for three seconds, it's not necessarily once per lap, but there is a 30 second cooldown period before you can use it again. On a lap that is just over 30 seconds, you theoretically could get to use it twice if you were clever. Unfortunately, the boost button appeared to not work for me in the first session, so hopefully this cart is better. The track here has been modified from its original layout, but they have kept some of the better features like this long flat out section, which is called the corkscrew, as you just wind your way up to the top and you get faster and faster. It doesn't look all that impressive under the yellow flags though. So it's a short track and if somebody has an incident we will just bunch up on the yellow flags as you can see here. One car has spun and the group has just bunched together. Unfortunately being such a busy session there isn't a lot of clear space but we will work with what we've got. It wasn't overly clear to me whilst driving around where the timing loop is. I believe where I've set it is roughly the right place as my lap times are near enough accurate to what I was seeing in the app. But don't quote me, if it's in the wrong place, it's in the wrong place. So this is a Saturday public session as I said and you can see there are some people who don't like to use their brakes very much. But he did just get shown the no bumping board by the marshal there as we once again go on the yellow flags. So these electric carts have four power levels. I'm not sure which we were in, but we would have been in power level one or power level two, due to it being a public session. I didn't have time to ask as we had to rush off straight after the sessions finished, as Preston were running late and we had somewhere else to be.
When we do go to green, there are a few carts ahead of us, so we will need to fight almost immediately to try and get some clear space. But this cart puts me straight into the barrier, as they didn't like me passing them around the outside. And the final turn. Hmm, public sessions. But I've now been at the peril of that yellow suited driver. He's done that to several people throughout the session and he has been shown the no bumping board, but he's continuing to do it and the marshals have not black flagged him. To be honest, I wasn't overly impressed with the set of marshals that we had at this track. There were long delays between carts crashing and yellow flags being displayed and there was a lot of bumping going on with no penalty for it. And we've just set a new fastest lap despite it ending on the yellow flags and a 39.2. We are well off the pace here, but we are yet to have a full clear run. With public sessions, I do find if you get a bunch of people who are new, you're going to have a slow first session, so they all get used to it. Then things generally tend to improve for the second one, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be happening here. I've looked at the steering wheel there and the boost button has not lit up, but it's a good job because as I come around the corner there is a cart stationary using the visor downside that the marshal is showing him. And despite being more than 30 seconds since I last pressed it, my boost button again did not work and once again it was a good thing as again there was another cart going very slowly, reading the sign that the marshal was showing him. However, I did manage to improve again to a 38.2. Once again, no boost available. You'll see the button does not have the blue light next to it, so I have no option but to carry on for another lap without boost. That's now three laps in a row where boost has not been available to me. I look down once more, that's four laps in a row with no boost. The seating position on electric carts is different to that of petrol carts, where you actually now sit central, but you very quickly adjust to that difference. Another thing that's different is you do actually have a brake light on these, which I thought I might find distracting at first, but once I was out on track, I completely ignored it and wasn't distracted by it at all. The 
this time I did get boost. So we have managed to press it and you can see that I've closed up the carts ahead. They're probably flat out but I can't be sure. And the boost ran from where I pressed the button just before the start of the line and to just at the bottom of the ramp. Whether that's the right place to use it I don't know but I figured the faster I can get up to speed the more I can maintain the speed. If you use the boost button when you're at top speed I don't think it will go any quicker but I also didn't really try that either to be fair. such a short lap though it's quite disappointing that there are so many carts on because you don't necessarily space out quite so well. And again, there is another stationary car still staying on the green flags. But there we go, we've turned to the yellows. As I say, I wasn't overly impressed with the marshals' reactions. I'm not sure why I shouted at them, they must have hit me in the back as well, but yeah, they weren't going to be in any trouble because the Martians didn't care. And there we go, we have crossed the line. That is electric karting at Teesport Preston, my fastest time of the 38.271 that I managed to set in this session was good enough for third place overall. However, I am pleased to say that that was faster than Dan managed to go, so there still isn't a track where he is faster than me. For next week's videos, we will be back in the petrol carts at Sheffield with normal service resumed. As always, thank you so much for joining me on my go-karting adventures. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave some feedback down below in the comments. Till next time, cheers.